It's like a thousand suns in my face. Hey, turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have something kind of fun. I'm going to be unboxing a new little friend that I got from one of my buddies. I don't need any more turtles, but why pass on an opportunity when you can just go ahead and jump on it? And so in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing an ornate Diamondback Terrapin, a little baby one. And so these ornates, they'll come in like a couple different colors. You can have like blue ones, pink ones. Uh, the ones, I have five up here that are have a lot of blues and a couple that are pink, but then they also come in white, like nice pure white. The ornates that I have already are like a blue. This one's a combination of blue and pink, which is a really cool, kind of translucent. We have this one who's way more of a blue right here with a little bit of pink. You have one that's extra pink right here. We can see if she'll stick out her head. There we go, extra pink. But that one down there, uh, the new baby is completely white, which is kind of cool. And I wanted some genetic diversity because these are all siblings. Hi, little friends. As far as if and when I will have any turtles available, when I do, I put them up in the link right up over here on my Patreon. The holiday season is coming, it's the day after turkey. So if you guys have a friend or family or you who likes turtle stuff, I do have merch and whatnot. And there's discounts to that on my Patreon. Also animals when I have them available on there, all kinds of fun stuff, all the links to that cool stuff is down yonder. Yeah, but anyway, let's just go ahead and get this little guy out of his box. All right, folks, so I have this box here. I have a new Terrapin from my friend Jason over at Terrapin Crossing. I'm very, very excited for this little one. He breeds the most insane, beautiful, uh, ornate Diamondback Terrapins. And so let's go ahead. And I, I, this is not sponsored or anything. Like we have legitimately been friends for a while now. And I, I really don't endorse a lot of Terrapin people because a lot of them suck. <laughs> and so he is one of the best, nicest, most kind-hearted, like good, good breeders like that I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. I met him in person over in, let me show you guys the actual unboxing, but I met him over in uh, Chicago at Tinley Park. It was an absolute pleasure. He has had a rough start a little bit just because, oh, Sometimes people get very more business oriented and Jason is just, he's in it for the love of the turtles, not for, not for the money. And a lot of people are, and it's cruddy. But there's their little logo right here. Check it out. Here's all their social media jazz. Again, not sponsored, just someone that I actually believe in, that I'm actually friends with, that I actually really like enjoy. Okay, all right, let's go for it. Go very nicely packed. Ooh. Excuse me, little nugget. Hey there. Hello there. Oh, I know you're all annoyed. Hi, little nugget. This is a little matte white ornate diamondback terrapin. Beautiful. They're so pretty. So this is like the um, like the Tampa, I would think uh, the matte white ones usually come from around like from Tampa up towards a little bit further north. And I'm gonna need some name suggestions. So please comment down below what you think I should name this little one. Let's get him or her in water and eating some snacks. All right, little one, you're gonna join these two fellas. Oh, you are still little, little. Oh, I don't like that size difference. Okay, so I might keep this little terrapin on his or her own um, for a little bit until she inevitably catches up to the two terrapins that I have in here. Oh, you are so little and so precious. This little one is eating really, really well, uh, doing super well already, feasting on, you know, the Zoomed uh, hatchling formula, which I really like. It grows my babies really quickly. And this little one looks like a younger Nilla, which is really funny. I'm gonna need it to be female just cause I have too many boys already, but let's go ahead and pull this little one out and get it eating. So over here, I have some blood worms, some brine shrimp, some uneaten um, Zoomed hatchling formula. Let's go ahead and get this little one out of here. Come here, little nugget. Hi, I'm on focus. Hi, little one. You are looking good. I know, I'm sorry. Let's put you in here. And now I'm just gonna go ahead, probably walk away for a little bit and let this little one eat 
um, unless you'll eat on camera. Sometimes they'll get shy and they'll get very especially shy if you are hovering over them because their natural predators would most likely be coming from the sky. So when you hover over these little baby turtles, they get super nervous. Also, if they're not used to eating in a separate enclosure, eh, she might not want to. Yeah, I'm just gonna see what she does real quick and then I'm gonna step away and let her munch crunch because some of this stuff, boom, is irresistible. Ooh, there she goes. This is exactly what I wanted. This is one voracious little eater. So she's probably gonna get real big real quickly and be able to join the other ornates. Hi, little one. So now I'm just gonna let her eat to satiation. That's how much I feed my hatchlings. People ask, how much do you feed them? I'll let them eat as much as they possibly can, like once and sometimes even twice a day. They'll eat less in a separate enclosure than in their normal enclosure, just because they're less comfortable. But I find that it's kind of worth it for the mess. It's the trade-off that they might grow a little bit slower, but sometimes they'll still balloon up and grow really quickly, really fast. So I usually do a little combination. I'll feed them mostly outside the enclosure and toss a little extra in their home to, you know, pick at and finish off. For now though, I'm gonna leave this little one to eat and I'm gonna go eat some Thanksgiving leftovers. Hello puppy, welcome to my room. We have waited for this little turt to stop eating and now you're gonna, oh, what a good puppy. You don't seem to have eaten too, too much, but it seems that you're all done, little friend. Are you all done? Time to go back in your little enclosure. Here you go just on the outskirts of this little tub. Nice, warm, heated water for you. There's not really much else that I can show you guys. It's just a cute little little baby turtle that's eating, living his little life. Quick little unboxing, I don't know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, it's really easy. Put them in a nice little heated, warm, clean water setup. Some fake plants, no basking area needed. Supplement with a little bit of vitamin D3 for calcium. This little one is gonna have a nice, happy life. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.